Hello Rec Room players, and welcome to this month's Maker Pen Challenge. This month's Maker Pen Challenge is the Court Gun Challenge, and if you want to learn how to build one, I'll teach you how. <laughs> to get started building, what you're going to want to do, open your watch, click backpack, and click use on your Maker Pen. Now that we have our Maker Pen, let's start building. Now that we have our Maker Pen, what we're going to want to do, open the Maker Pen menu, click palette, and click pipe. Let's turn on grid. Uniform shapes, and we'll do 0 0.5. We're gonna make this very big starting out, and then we're gonna scale it down as we go along. We're gonna go back to our palette, hemisphere, go back to tools, and manipulate. And try and match up so there's no cut in between of our pipe and our hemisphere. Now, we're gonna go back to using a pipe. Scale it down to 0 0.1. We're gonna draw it just like this. Let's try and match this up with the top. Scale it. Turn on grid. Manipulate so it's more manageable. We're going to flatten it just a little bit and rotate it. Now that we have this type of look for it, we're going to clone flip it onto the bottom as to make sure that we're not getting any clipping like this. Select them both, clone rotate, turn on grid if needed, rotate it as such, clone again, and rotate. So now we have something a little like this. If you need to, you can even go do some spheres and just fill in the gaps. I would highly recommend this, as it is to cover up just a little bit more. And there we go. This is the chamber of our cork gun revolver. And if anything is unselected, Select both of these pieces and merge shapes. Now it is one entire object. We're going to recolor it to being. We'll do a nice blue. Make it glossy plastic because we are making a cork gun after all. And now we should have a shape kind of like this. Now onward to actually making our revolver. What we're going to want to do is match up a pipe in the middle, scale it, and move it all the way over like this. We're going to move it up and over. Move it just a little bit more down if needed. We're going to keep this all the way over like so. Now that we have the chamber and the base for our revolver, what we're going to want to do is click palette, cone, and we're just going to place a cone right there, and another pipe. Go back to manipulate and make this a very long cone. It's kind of like this. We're going to manipulate our pipe inward just a little bit so it dents in just a small bit and select both of these shapes. Now we're going to scale it up just a bit and move it inwards trying to match up the edges best you can. So now we have this kind of look to our port gun. 
and you should know if it's lined up if this goes into the center of the chamber. Merge these. Even if you'd like to, you can recolor the tip of the revolver to be orange so you know that it's a toy gun. Now let's actually get to the making part of the revolver. We're going to do a cylinder. Just place it right there. Nothing too big. Scale it up. Where you get more of a shape like this. Like that. We're going to click create. And we're going to add a sphere. Just like that. We're going to clone it down. Move it up just a little bit. Not a whole lot. So now we have this type of shape. I'm going to get another cylinder and place it on its side. Now that we have something kind of like this, I'm going to do a cube, match it up in the middle, like so. Manipulate it both ways and move all the way back. And I'm going to clone it up twice like this. Manipulate it. Just kind of like this. And we're just going to move it straight up. If you need to, you can move it back. Do another cylinder. Manipulate. and match it to the best that you can. It's where you get more of a centralized chamber. Then, we're gonna go back into our palette, click Wedge, and we're gonna add one just right there. Now you should have something just a little bit like this for your gun. Click done. Select all your pieces, options, and merge shapes. Now if you want to, rotate it to where it's upside down. And right here is where we are going to put our handle. So we're going to go palette. And we're going to use tube for this. I'm going to scroll down until you see all of your tube settings. We're going to do 0 0.25 for our meters. Our height scale, we're going to do 0 0.75. Faces is 10, and we're going to use smooth tubes. We're also going to be using a grid with uniform shapes at 0 So you should have a shape kind of like this now. We're going to rotate it just slightly and move it just a little bit more into place. We're going to try centering it as well because it is just a little off center. So we should have something kind of like that. Merge it to the gun and flip it right back around. 
And now we have something a little like this. What we're going to want to do now is we're going to add the trigger. So we're going to do another wedge, grid, and just draw another wedge right here. And for this, you can use a half pipe or a donut. We're going to put it upside down just like that. Or if you can't, just draw it, click rotate, and rotate it until it's flat. Grab another cube, place it in the middle. need to and scale it up and down as so and we're gonna recolor it just a little bit more so it's not just all orange and blues so for our handle I'm gonna do a red for the trigger also going to do another red and for the base of our gun I'm gonna make it blue So now we have something a little like this. If you'd like to, you can even go back over with a small bit of tubing or some spheres and give it just a little bit more texture. So now we have something a little like this. I'm going to clone one more down. Like so. Match it up with the end of this. And do that just for a tiny bit more detail to our gun. Now there's one thing that we're actually missing from this gun. The cork. So we're going to go back in pipe, turn on grid, I'm going to do one, and line it up as best you can. Now we're going to do a pipe, a cone, and a hemisphere in this particular order. We're going to scale it up just so we know what we're doing. Scale up the hemisphere and the cone just slightly put the cone way in through the pipe and scale the pipe until it matches up with your cone and scale down the hemisphere just a small bit and match it up with the cone so it does not have a gap then we're going to click recolor material dirt and the color is going to be tan now it looks a lot more like a cork. We're going to scale it down and move it into the barrel of our cork gun. Just like that. And now we have our cork gun. Now I hope this tutorial has helped you learn the basics in building your cork gun. If you want to learn how to build, please go to recroom.com slash creative for more info or sign up for a class. If you want to submit your court gun for this maker pen challenge, be sure to publish your invention with the hashtag court gun 2022. I'm Tonic and stay creative. Goodbye. <laughs>